In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use the Canva text to image and text to video AI app to create some engaging media for your projects. Magic Media allows you to turn your ideas into high quality AI generated images or videos using simple text prompts. Simply write a short description of the image or video that you want to create. Select the style and watch as Magic Media works its magic. You'll be provided with several AI generated options that you can choose from and add to your Canva project. Whether you need a unique photo for your presentation or a custom video clip for your project, you can now use the Magic Media AI app to create whatever you need in seconds. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to generate AI images and videos with Magic Media. But before we continue, if you haven't already, make sure you unlock your free trial of Canva Pro by heading over to learnwithjason.com or by clicking the link in the video description. With Canva Pro, you can access all of Magic Studio's AI tools, enjoy unlimited access to the entire Canva content library, and unlock all of Canva's other premium tools and features. If you don't have a Canva Pro account yet, make sure you head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. For this example, I'll just be using a blank Instagram post template. No matter what you're creating, you can access Magic Media from the Canva editor. So to access Magic Media, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the Apps tab. This will open up a menu where you can browse all the apps that are available on Canva. So let's go to the search bar up top here and search for Magic Media. From the results, the Magic Media app should be the first icon here. Let's click it to open it up. And here's the Magic Media text to image or video AI app. For the first example, we'll be generating an AI image from the images tab. To have the AI create our images, all we have to do is describe what we want, select a style, and choose a format. So to get started, let's go up to the top text box here and describe the type of image we want the AI to generate. For the first example, let's see if the Magic Media AI can generate an image of a reindeer running through a dark snowy forest. Once you describe your image, you can then move down to the next section and select your image style. There are tons of really cool styles that you can select from, so let's click the See All tab to check them out. From here, you can see several different categories of styles. We have photography for more realistic looking images, which includes things like photo, minimalist, and filmic. Digital art for things like 3D images, playful, or concept art and fine art for things like colored pencil images, watercolor, and even stained glass. So for my reindeer running through a dark snowy forest, I think I'm gonna select the digital art dreamy style. So I've described my image and selected a style. Now let's scroll down to the bottom here and select my aspect ratio. You have the options to select from a square image, landscape, or portrait, so you can create the perfect images for any platform. For my Instagram post example here, Let's select the square aspect ratio. So once you've finished adding all the details for your image, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the generate image button. And the Magic Media AI will start analyzing your text, adding your style, and generating your image. This may take a few seconds, but once it's finished, you'll have several high quality AI generated images that you can select from. Wow, I think these actually look amazing. Each image includes a reindeer running through a dark snowy forest just as requested. Feel free to look over the various images, and once you find one you like, simply click it to add it to your project. As you can see, the images generated by Magic Media are super high quality. It's amazing how you can simply type what you want and have the AI generate it for you instantly. Once you've added an image to your Canva project, you can resize it, rearrange it, add text and graphics, or edit it any other way that you like. This is a great way to create custom social media posts, presentations, and other designs. So let's click the Go Back button here to go back to the Magic Media home screen and check out one more example of the AI images that can be generated with Magic Media. In the description box, this time, let's see if we can have Magic Media create an image of a motorcycle racing down a curvy mountain road. Now that I've described the image I want, I can now select my style. This time, I think I'm going to go to the photography section and select Neon. This one seems like it'll be pretty cool so I want to see how it looks. I can then scroll down and select my aspect ratio. I'm just going to stick with square. So let's go down and click the generate image button. And Magic Media will start analyzing my text and generating my image. And here's my motorcycle racing down a curvy mountain road. As expected, the Neon style looks incredible. 
This was a photography style, so it has a more realistic look. Once I select an image and add it to my template, I can now edit it or use it with another design. From the image results on the left here, if you click the three dots icon at the top right of any of the images, this should open up a menu with a couple options. If you need more similar images, you can click the first option here to generate more images like the one you have selected. And if you go to the second option here, you can generate a video using your selected image. This is a really cool feature that allows you to create some amazing content. The AI generated videos are short clips, but they're still pretty incredible. So speaking of videos, now let's go over how to use the Magic Media text to video AI feature. From the Magic Media app home screen, let's look up at the top and click the videos tab. Here's where we can use text prompts to turn our ideas into videos. The videos that are generated are only a few seconds long, but they're still really cool. So just like we did when generating our images, let's go to the text box here and describe the type of video that we want to create. When describing your video, try to be as detailed as possible. Include colors, places, the type of movement, and any other details that you can think of. For the first example, let's see if Magic Media can create a video that's in the ocean with colorful fish and a coral reef. Once you've added the details for your video, you can then go down and click the Generate Video button. And Magic Media will start analyzing your text and generating your video. For videos, it may take a bit longer to generate than images, but it's definitely worth the wait. And here's my AI generated video of a colorful fish in the ocean by a coral reef. Wow, this looks super realistic. Let's add it to my template so we can get a better view. The details in this AI generated video is super impressive. It really looks like somebody shot a video of a fish in the ocean. I'm pleasantly surprised at how this video turned out. So let's click the go back button and try out another example. This time, let's get a bit more fancy and see if the Magic Media AI can create a video of an enchanting castle full of mystery and wonder. Once you describe your video, go down to the bottom and click the generate video button. And Magic Media will start working its magic. After about a minute or so, you'll have your new video. Let's add it to my template and check it out. So here's the video of my enchanting castle full of mystery and wonder. That looks pretty enchanting to me. So as you can see, the images and videos that you can generate with Magic Media are super high quality and detailed. I encourage you to try it out for yourself and see what kind of media you can generate. So that's a quick overview of how to use text to generate images and videos with Magic Media. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to check out the full Canva Magic Studio demonstration video, which you can view by clicking the video on the screen here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.